Formula One has come out of the summer break, and the teams have brought major upgrade packages to the Dutch Grand Prix. Did Mercedes bring the Belgian upgrade package? Red Bull's engine cover change, and McLaren's significant upgrade package. All this and much more in this video. Let's start with McLaren. The team has introduced six key changes to their car, marking the first serious upgrade since the Miami Grand Prix. As the main rival to Red Bull, the team is trying to maintain its advantage, but they are also cautious not to rush to avoid repeating the mistakes of some competitors. So for this weekend, they have brought new brake scoop, which is aimed at helping improve the airflow conditions downstream to improve aerodynamic load, revised front suspension to help optimize the changed airflow off the front brake geometry, new floor edge to add more downforce in that area, as well as help improving flow conditioning to the rest of the underside. Modified rear suspension to boost flow conditioning around the rear corner, the diffuser and beam wing area. New high downforce rear wing aimed at performance for the demands of Zandvoort type circuits. New beam wing to work in conjunction with the changed rear wing. McLaren explained the long absence of serious updates. According to them, the delay was due to their desire to ensure they got the most out of the previous package and that the new parts would work as expected. The next major upgrade package was brought by Williams. Five updates, all aimed at improving performance. The most noticeable change is the switch to Red Bull-style side pods, which have already been adopted by Ferrari, Sauber and Haas, who brought four updates to their car, front wing, nose, front suspension and front corner. These updates are crucial for Haas in their fight for places in the Constructors' Championship and will help them hold on to the seventh position from Alpine, who have improved significantly since the beginning of the season and also brought two updates for the Dutch Grand Prix. The championship leader, Red Bull, didn't bring any significant updates. For this Grand Prix, they are using the engine cover first introduced at the Hungarian Grand Prix. These changes are specific to the track's characteristics and help the car perform better in slow and medium speed corners. Additionally, Red Bull made minor adjustments to the mirror mounts and added a new part to the halo. The RB Junior team brought only one update aimed at improving performance. Other teams, including Mercedes, arrived in Zandvoort without updates. However, the team from Brackley will still test the new parts they first brought to Belgium. On George Russell's car, a new floor was once again installed for testing during practice sessions and based on the results, they will either revert to the old floor or install the new one on Lewis Hamilton's car. That's a wrap for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Formula One news.